Hey everybody, Alice here again with Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. I have a new bath bomb that I wanted to show you guys. I, um, my name is Alice, obviously, as I just said, and so I am obsessed with Alice in Wonderland. Also, I know this looks like my tub is pretty empty, but it's a very large tub. It actually holds a lot. So this is my Painting the Roses Red bath bomb. Um, this is about half the size of my normal bath bomb, so it is only $3. I will go ahead and open it as usual. We have the scents and the expiration date or use by. This one is a little harder to open because you gotta find a good place to get it. Yes, I did just bite it. Okay. Because once you get a once you get a tear, it's good. I'm gonna get a plastic in here. Um, this bath bomb is white, as you can see, and I painted red on it, but it looks really awesome, at least I hope it looks really awesome, in the water. The scent is, of course, a rose-based scent, but it also has some hibiscus and um, raspberry, which kind of helps even out the roses, I think, so let's see. Oh, and these have charms inside. So some of these will have, um, well, very few, because I'm actually going to have some other Alice ones. Um, so they do have Alice charms, and I have partnered with Tyler's Awesome Shop, um, a wonderful lady who makes book charms. So some of my bath bombs, some of my Alice bath bombs, will have a book charm inside, which is nice. So as you can see, the water is turning red. Not red red, it's not a very big, big bath bomb, so obviously it can't hold a lot of the, the color, but it's definitely turning a reddish color. It smells really good too, I really like it. Usually um, if the rose is a bit too strong, I don't like it very much. And So I actually did mix some scents together because I felt it was way too floral, kind of in your face. charm. I got the white rabbit. Right now I only have three charms, but I'm gathering a lot of Alice ones, so yay Alice. So it's kind of a grapefruit colored bath, I think. But I don't like it. It's the perfect mix of the red and the white, so this has the same formula as all of my other bath bombs, it's just half the size so you get half the amount. Um, you know, of the fragrance and everything, but of course the fragrance is still just, just fine, it's still strong enough. So when I am done with this bath, I will take, uh, uh, I'll bring you guys back when I have emptied the tub. Okay, okay. All right guys, so this is what my bathtub looks like after I'm done with it. One note that I do want to make is that I have a very, very old clawfoot bathtub and it's not exactly level. So I do kind of get this line of water that likes to sit in the bottom and I always, no matter what, what I'm having in my tub, yes, words, um, no matter what bath bomb I use, there's always a little line of water that I have to kind of rinse out if it's not um, uncolored, if that makes sense. So, you guys may not see this in your bathtub. This is just what I see in my bathtub. I'm gonna rinse down with water and come right out. Um, one thing I do want to note is this scent really likes to stick to your skin. It's only been a few minutes after the bath, so it's, you know, I, I gotta test and see how long it sticks to my skin, but I usually don't notice myself smelling like the bath bomb so long after some bath bombs they do, some bath bombs they don't. It really depends on the fragrance, but this one definitely does. So if that's your thing, if you like floral, kind of a little fruity scent, then maybe check it out. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you all guys later. Bye.